Grey Green Monster by Jill Atkins, illustrated by Daniel Lemon. Cosmo woke up early on the day of his wizard test. He was too nervous to eat his breakfast, so he polished his wand and had another look at his spell book. He wanted to make sure he could remember all his spells. Don't worry, Cosmo, he said his dad. You have learned a lot about it, being a wizard. Yes, said his mom. Just try hard and do your best. You will be fine. Cosmo still felt nervous as he set off for the test, but he kept going because he really wanted to be a wizard. Cosmo went into the deep, dark cave. His hands were shaking and his knees were knocking. Fizz, Miss Fizz, was already there. Are you ready? She boomed. Cosmo nodded. So let's begin. Miss Fizz, said Miss Fizz, you have three tests. The first test was written on top of a toadstool. Cosmo smiled. It was easy. He fetched some purple powder, some red glitter, and some magic dust. He mixed the potion in the big cauldron. It started bubbling away. Well done, said Miss Fizz. Now for the, now for test number two. The second test was stuck to the cupboard. Cosmo smiled when he read it. It sounded fun. He put on his goggles. Then he collected the right ingredients from the cupboard. He made some brilliant spells. They frothed and sparkled. Excellent, said Miss Fizz. Cosmo felt good. I'm doing well, he thought. Now for the last test of all, boomed Miss Fizz. It's important that you give this one. Cosmo's tummy fluttered. He looked at the stone in Miss Fizz's head. Turn this stone into a mouse, boomed Miss Fizz. Cosmo gulped. Remember this magic word, boomed Miss Fizz. Sally Long sh Shanks. Sally Long Shanks? Said Cosmo. Sally Long Shanks. Good, said Miss Fizz. Now don't forget it. Sally Long Shanks. Take five drops of the potion you made in your first test, boomed Miss Fizz. <laughs> Drip them onto the stone. Next, wave your hand and say the magic word. Yes, Miss Fizz, whispered Cosmo. Miss Fizz swooshed out of the cave. Cosmo uh, was on his own. Quickly, Cosmo ran to the cauldron and took five drops of potion. He carried the potion to the toadstool and tripped it onto the stone. One, two, three, four, five. Good, so far, he muttered. Now for the magic words. Sally, he stopped. What was next? Sally Long, he could remem couldn't remember the ending. He, he waved his wand over the stone. Sally Long socks, he said. Sizzle, hiss, crackle, bang, flash. Green smoke and sparks came from the stone. That was so clever, Cosmo laughed. The spell works brilliant. When the smoke cleared, Cosmo got a shock. Cosmo stood still. His mouth was wide open. His hair stood on end. There was something very old sitting on the toadstool. Who are you? asked Cosmo. Ha ha! and laughed. I'm the little green monster. Oh no, cried Cosmo as the little green monster jumped down and scampered across the room. Hee hee, it giggled. Can't catch me. Come back, called Cosmo. But he couldn't catch the little green monster. When the little green monster knocked over a toadstool with a crash, stop, shouted Cosmo. But the little green monster didn't stop. It ran over to Miss Fizz's desk and jumped up. Whee! It screeched. It tipped over a pot of glitter stars. Oh no! Cosmo shouted again. Miss Fizz will be back soon. She'll be cross and it will be in trouble. Quick! Fetch a brush! The little green monster fetched a brush. Not a toothbrush, said Cosmo. The little green monster fetched another brush. Not a hair brush, Cosmo sighed. 
The little green monster fetched a third brush. Not a toilet brush! Cosmo laughed. I'll have to fetch the right brush my side. Cosmo fetched the dustpan and brush and began to sweep up the stars. At the moment, Miss Fizz came back. Cosmo, she boomed. What's going on? The little green monster hid under the cauldron. Cosmo felt like crying as he looked at the mess. Miss Fizz won't let me let me be a wizard now, he thought. I'm sorry, he said. I must have said the wrong magic word. I said, Sally Long Socks. Suddenly, Miss Fizz roared with laughter. Sally Long Socks, she cuckled. Oh, Cosmo. Cosmo looked up. Miss Fizz was smiling. It's not the end of the world, she said. Come on, here, I'll, and I'll tell you the correct magic word. Cosmo hurried towards the Miss Frizz. She bent down and whispered in his ear. He waved his hand. Sally Long Shanks, fl he said. Flash, bang, crackle, his sizzle. The little green monster disappeared in a puff of yellow smoke. There's said a little mouse. The mouse squeaked at Cosmo. Then it flicked its tail and squirmed away. Thank you, Cosmo said as he w swept up the rest of the stars. Everyone makes mistakes for time to time, said Miss Fizz. But you did well second time round. I can tell you that will be an excellent wizard. You have passed your wizard test, said Miss Fizz. So I'm glad you tell you became a wizard. Cosmo jumped for joy. Thank you, he said. I will always try hard and do my best.